Right, so as it says on the slide, I'm going to talk about a competency framework for Moodle site administrators called DigComp LMS Admin. And I always have to think to get the elements correct because they do have significance here. So um, since the times, like over 40 years ago, when I did my degree, which was very academic, traditional academic grading, percentages, letter grades, competency-based or skills-based learning assessment has become much more popular. These can-do statements, practical skills really, which apply in kind of vocational subjects and really also for the kinds of things Moodle administrators or administrators of pla learning platforms would do. And you can have a competency framework either just to use it as a, as a reference point on Moodle Academy, we kind of tag our courses with various competencies. Of course, there is a competency framework whole system in Moodle, where as an admin, you can import an existing competency framework, you can create your own, you can link competencies to activities, or, um, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't know if we're allowed to have a favourite competency framework, but uh, if I am allowed, then obviously the common European framework reference for languages is my favourite, because I love languages, and I don't think I've said that today, because I kind of say it every day. Um, but another reason why uh, I like this is because this, which was made in, in Europe, but has gone all around the world for many years, was partly the inspiration for... DigComp EDU, in longer terms, the European framework for the digital competence of educators. And this is a, a competency framework. It's for teachers teaching for their digital competence. And this very much informs the teacher courses that we do on Moodle Academy. So on Moodle Academy, and if you haven't gone there, go there. There's something for everyone. Um, we have a program of courses, several courses, Moodle Teaching Basics. Then we have intermediate intermediate uh, courses and an intermediate program, Moodle Teaching Skills. And then for expert experienced Moodle teachers, we have the MEC, the Moodle Educator Certification. And all of these courses are tagged with and reference the, the competences in DigComp Edu, which is great. But for many years now, people have been asking, even before Academy, they've been saying, but what about administrators? And yet, so on Moodle Academy, we have Moodle Admin Basics as a program of courses. We've recently launched an intermediate program of courses, Moodle Admin Skills, and we're kind of working towards some advanced courses and advanced certificates, hopefully before I retire. Um, and then uh, there's the need for an equivalent kind of competency framework, equivalent to DigComp EDU. And so for that reason, we've made DigComp LMS Admin. Now, the DigComp bit is because it's inspired by DigComp EDU, it's digital competences. There's also a tiny element that's come from an existing competency framework, European one, DigComp OR, which is more kind of managerial, but there are tiny elements in that. We put LMS in there because we figured although we're using it for Moodle and um, it, it mentions Moodle, you could actually adapt it for administrators for other platforms, possibly. And obviously we put admin because it's for site administrators, not educators. Now we don't mean the server admins, the, the DevOps, the back end people. We mean mainly site administrators who are using the Moodle site admin interface, maybe know how to install Moodle and install plugins, but that's about it. So what is it then? Well, I can show you a graphic, but I well know that if you're at the back of the room, you can't see any of that anyway. So I'm going to explain it a bit at a time and then tell you where you can go to look at it yourself in detail. So again, inspired by um, DigComp EDU, DigComp LMS Admin is, uh, consists of four general areas, general thematic areas, infrastructure, operation, integration, and very important, practice. And within each of these general areas, there are eight competencies, areas of competence. So in infrastructure, and it kind of makes sense if you're an admin and you follow my theory here, so we've got implementation, so that's you know deciding what to install, installing it, maintenance and support. Then within operation, we have the site structure, user management, the site appearance functionality, basically the look and feel, monitoring, 
Integration is just the one which is basically plugins, extensions, and then practice, again, is your continuous professional development and so on. And within those eight areas of competence, there are 31 competencies. Now, I am not going to itemize all 31, especially because I'm now short of time, um, but I'm going to give you a few examples. 31 because we decided it's better to include all the competencies that we wanted rather than just make it 30 and have a nice neat number for the sake of it. No, we wanted to make it uh, appropriate. So, for example, in Moodle Academy, we have an intermediate admin course data protection. And that, ha that is related to the implementation area, privacy and site policy. We have an intermediate course, Moodle Reports, which, believe it or not, is Area 6 Monitoring, Site Reports, Course Reports. It, they don't only have to cover one area. So, for instance, recently we launched Plugins Management, and this covers both the um, site appearance and 5.2, the competence customization, and also, obviously, integration your policy, very important, and then the community contributions on the plugins database and commercial add-ons, certified integrations, and so on. So that's how it works. Um, that's the basic structure. And if you're thinking, yeah, well, okay, I see where you're going, but if I'd made it, I would maybe have moved that area somewhere else and I might have added that competence. So I'm not quite in agreement, please, Take it, use it, change it. It is um, uh, Creative Commons. The, if you take a screenshot of that tiny URL, then you can look at it directly on Moodle Academy where it lives. You'll just go there, you don't need to be logged in. Or you could download it from Moodle.net. You just need to um, type in Digcomp LMS Admin and the competency framework file itself is there for you to upload and adapt. And that is it. Thank you.